Hi, my name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you what you can do with the universal pen holder that comes with your brother's scan and cut. Now, it's a great little tool, and you'll probably find that when you get a scan and cut, you get a mini pen holder with the pens that come with the machine. But the universal pen holder means that you can put a pen of your own desire into your machine because it fits in there like that. It doesn't fit in there as quickly as that. I'm going to show you how you do it properly. There's also a pen holder which is the universal or the small barrel pen holder. And you will notice that it has an extra ring inside the barrel. So if you've got much finer pens, like fine line pens, it will still grip it successfully and you can draw with it. So having a pen holder and being able to draw on your scan and cut means that you can take a large image like this and you can shrink it down to a tiny image like this. And you might think, well, I can do that on my printer, if you still have a printer at home. I mean, so many of us have gone paperless now. Yeah, you can, but what you can't do on your printer is, unless technology has come much further, is you can't get metallic ink on your printer. Also, unless you've got a specific one, it would be really difficult to put fabric through your printer. I mean, I've just done this with a a fibre tip pen and I'm going to use it as an embroidery template for a bit of wall art. And the other great thing is, last time I heard, you couldn't put leather through your printer either. So if you're making somebody a wallet or something like that and you want to put a logo on it or a design on it or just a bit of decoration, if you use a permanent marker, you can actually draw on leather and it, it's come out really well and I, you know, I've been really pleased with this, it doesn't smudge or anything. So there are a great deal of advantages to actually being able to draw on your scan and cut. So let's just put these aside. And quite simply, all I've done is I have scanned my cacti design here, like so. And then I'm going to shrink it down and just draw it onto a piece of card. So let me put my reading glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And actually, let me find my proper pointer. So we edit it. We select all of it because it has got individual parts. It's recognised the cactus as individual parts of a line drawing. And we group it together so that then what I can do is I can just shrink it down in its entirety and move it up into the top corner there. So that will do, that's about 12 and a half centimetres by about seven and a half centimetres. Okay. And we will select draw. And what you'll need to do if you haven't already, is with the um, Brother Scan and Cut SGX 1200, is there are two positions. Oh, there's a scanning lever down the side here. You need it on one for cutting and normal scanning. You need it on two for drawing. It just raises it up a little bit. So let's grab a piece of card, of which I have many pieces of card. And because you're not cutting, there's going to be no drag on that card. So you can actually use a low-tack mat. Pop your piece of card on there. Oh, actually, let's be sensible about this. Let's put my piece of card in the middle. And... Um, hold it down in place and let's just move my image to the right hand side just here And we'll feed our mat into the machine. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to draw that cactus in a metallic pen. Use this gold one. This is a, a bullet tip pen. What you want to bear in mind is not all pens are equal. And also what you want to bear in mind is if you've let your pen sit in storage for about eight years, not always going to work perfectly. So before you start, just check your pen is running cleanly. And then I've got a feeling I will need to use the smaller barrel holder on this one. Let me just check, yeah. Now, what they recommend is that you actually insert your pen this way up. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to insert it sideways so that you can see what I'm doing. And I am just going to put a bit of washi tape over there just to hold the pen, the, um, the pen holder inside the guide, which is this bit here. It's important that you use this because what this does is it makes sure that the tip of the pen is exactly the right position to draw on your card. If it's too low, it will ruin the, the tip of your pen. If it's too high, it won't touch the card at all. So you need to pop a piece of card inside this bit here. Yep. Pop your pen into the holder so it sits on the card. And I'm just going to hold it up like that. And then you lift this grey ring and you spin it round and lock it back down until your pen is in there. And you check, if I take that piece of card out, there's a little notch in the bottom which shows the middle of the pen holder. You need to check that your pen is not on the skew. Very simply take it out of the cartridge, pop it in, and clamp it down and then hopefully you can just start and you may have noticed that on the screen the image was appearing blue this is because the machine knows it's drawing and not cutting what you can do is you can add text to your image using the canvas workspace but when you do that on the right hand side of the screen there is an operations drop down menu when you save your text, make sure you save it as a drawing file and not a cutting file. Because otherwise you'll design it all, you'll get it on there and then you'll go, well, why isn't it drawing it? And it's, it's not because the machine is stupid, it's because you're an idiot and you haven't bothered telling the machine what operation it needs to do. As I found out to my cost, three hours later I realised what I'd done wrong. So that's just drawing away there. What I would say is bear in mind the size of your design will look totally different depending on the size of your design. Yeah, the size of your design does make a difference to the pen that you will want to use. Something like this size is fine to use like a bullet tip. When you're shrinking it down this small, you're better off using a very fine line pen. If you try and do something too small in a bullet tip pen, like this one I did here, you just can't read it. But if you use a fine line, it's much clearer. So you are best off practicing with your pens before you commit to your actual finished project because there's nothing worse than wasting a piece of card. So that has drawn my design. Let's just pop it out of there. Peel it off the mat. Don't forget with your mat, Cover it back with a protective sheet to stop dust and hair gathering on it. It makes it last a lot, lot longer. And then here's our card. Somewhere I did have a ball-ended tool which has escaped. And then you can just score down the center. Preferably with a ruler that doesn't slip all over the place. To make your blank. 
And then just for the sake of design purposes, oh look, pink on a red mat. I do this to you all the time, don't you? I'm surprised you can ever see what I'm doing. Let's just trim it down. so that the pot sits in the centre. And then once you've done your design, you can then, as I've done here, you can colour it in with other pens. Um, you can use like watercolour techniques. There's a variety of pens that you can use. The only pen that I found that I can't use is an actual Sharpie at the minute because the barrel is too thick. But I've got a selection of pens here, and these are like opaque um, ballpoint pens. They fit perfectly. In the instructions, it does say that the machine prefers a pen with a round barrel. So something like a Sakura gel pen, you've got a round, more or less perfectly even barrel. But it will take a hexagonal barrel. It will also take a triangular barrel as long as the shaft of the pen doesn't get thicker or thinner at either end. Let's just pop that out of there. And always remember when you're changing pens to lift the sleeve, put it back to its original position before you take the pen out. There's a couple of other things that you will want to bear in mind and most of the time, if something goes wrong, I have found that it's actually been my fault or the pen's fault. I've done some little display cards. So say you're selling your stuff at a craft fair or you want to brand your homemade gifts and things like this, and you want your labels to look a little bit different. You don't want them to be a standard printed out on a printer and stuck on. So you want some metallic, you know, on black. So I drew this and then the pen ran out. Now what you can do is, as long as you don't take your mat out of the machine, you can replace the pen and you can redraw over the top of it, but that does risk making your line a bit thicker. Or you can just cheat, which is what I did, and turn where it ran out, and it only ran out on the scalloped bit, turn that into a design element. It's called cheating. It's because I hate to waste anything. You know, this one again, the pen ran out, I did redraw part of it and then stopped it so that these, the handwriting was thicker because I didn't like it. I didn't think it was thick enough. I didn't think it was clear enough. But when I went over the top of it, it looked too thick. So I then paused it, kicked it out of the machine. But then I changed it by filling it in. And these designs here were actually all drawn en masse. But after the machine had finished drawing one design, I paused it changed the pen, put another colour in, drew the next one. So if you've got time and you can keep an eye on it, you could set up an entire mat of your company logo, put it on one piece of card, and you could draw it in 24 different colours to suit the gift that you're giving or the, the product that you're making. And as I say, the best part about this is the amount of different pens you can use, the amount of different substrates that you can draw on. And that one simple design can make a multitude of gifts. So especially, as I say, if you're using branding or you've got a drawing that you especially like that you think is, is perfect for various things, you can draw them on your machine. If you are going to draw on leather, I would use an old mat because obviously the suede side of the leather will peel off and stick to the mat. I think that's all I need to tell you. Have fun with it. Play about with it and try lots of different pens at lots of different sizes until you can see which is the perfect one for you. In the meantime, have fun drawing your own designs. And I find drawing them with a fine line black pen is the best way to get a clean scan and a clean image to start with. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has given you some inspiration and encouraged you to go out and buy the universal pen holder or the small barrel universal pen holder and get drawing. Thanks for watching. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.